Hi there. Today I've got a question here from Scott. And Scott's asking me about post 100 miler recovery. And he's run 200 milers and has broken out in a sweat after the run, usually after showering and during the night with some chills. He's asking me if I've had this happen to me and he's curious as to why it happens. Well, Scott, without knowing all of the um, details about your specific physiological makeup and what your body, um, what the, your um, health level and, and, and fitness level and level of body breakdown you've had at the end of your 100 miles, it's difficult to say whether or not the chills you've been having is as a re re result of maybe some GI issues relating to some of your rest and nutrition or whatever the case may be. But as far as just breaking out into a sweat is concerned, uh, well post-run, post-shower, yes, I've had that happen to me a number of times for an, a number of different reasons. One, during the course of your run, you may have elevated your core temperature and the way your body, natural way of bringing your core temperature back down is sweating. But if you've been running a race, you've probably been maintaining just adequate types of hydration levels, which leaves you at a slightly dehydrated type of level in order to be, to be able to be running at your most optimum speed and level, because the slight de dehydration level, slightly lighter, helps you to run faster. So we all know about that. But now what happens post-run is post-run, and you, you have a shower, especially if it's a warm shower, you've elevated your, your core temperature a little bit more than what it was during the course of your run. Now what happens is post-shower, you maybe start feeling thirsty, and you start hydrating again. As soon as you start hydrating, you, you start sweating. Well, that, that's what happens to me in any event. I can be going out on the run, and I can come back, and I'm not sweating at all. I chug a quart of water, and bang, I'm pouring sweat like, like it's raining. So that's what happens to me. So this may very well be what's happening to you, but without having all of your physio physiological data that could be available post 100 miler, that maybe you might be coming out of the medical tent, blood pressure levels, heart rates, and, and such like. It's really difficult to say what is the specific root cause of your issue. Maybe it's, a, it's something that you may be wanting to speak to, speak to your coach directly about the guy that will be having all of your exercise data, or for that matter, chatting to a sports science at one of the um, high performance centers. They may be able be able to put you out on the right track, but within a, a general sort of social media forum like this, it's really difficult to put your finger exactly on the pulse of what's happening without that additional medical data relating to your 100 mile run. That's my take on the matter. Share any comments, questions, criticisms that you have in the space down below. That way you help me to make these videos more relevant for you. And then also share this out amongst your running friends. Thumbs up if you like the content, thumbs down if not, that way you also help me to produce better content. And also, last but by no means least, down below this video screen, especially if you're watching this in YouTube, there's a red subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, that way you stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.